Hello and welcome to Rescue Speechless. Today's video is going to be another skin combo video and today's skin will be Chewbacca. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin combo video and today's skin is going to be Chewbacca and this skin can be obtained by purchasing the Rebel Adventure Lego Pass and the pass will cost you 1,400 V-Bucks. As soon as you buy it, you'll get access to the skin straight away. And the Chewbacca skin is a part of the original trilogy set introduced in Chapter 5, Season 2. I decided to make 10 combos like usual. Let's get into the first combos back bling. The first combos back bling is the hollow back part of the Boundless set introduced in Chapter 2 Season 4 and the Boundless set is the customizer on Superhero Skins set and this is one of the two backlinks you can get for those skins and the actual sticker I'm using is this one right here which is Growling Chewbacca works obviously very nicely for the Chewbacca skin. Pickaxe is a Star Wars series pickaxe which is a Yoda's cane, part of the original trilogy set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 2. I've been using this pickaxe quite a lot. It works very nicely with a lot of the Star Wars skins, just a lot of skins in general. And this can be bought in the art shop. It can be bought with the Dagobah Luke skin, or it can be bought separately in the Yoda pack. I'm pretty sure. Let's quickly have a look. I'm not sure exactly sure the name of it. The Yoda gear pack can be buying the Dagobah Luke bundle or the Yoda gear pack. And the actual glider for all combos... It's the Millennium Falcon, part of the new trilogy set, introduced in Chapter 2 Season 1. I thought I'd use this off since, obviously, Chewbacca is the co-pilot of the Millennium Falcon, which just makes sense in my opinion. Contrail is the Diner Dive, part of the Breakfast Bandit set, introduced in Chapter 2 Season 5. I wasn't sure, wasn't sure what Contrail to use, so I thought I'd just use this one for like, the brown design, to be fair. I wasn't sure whatever one I was going to use. And then the next weapon app for the first combo is this one right here, which is Sap, part of the grouped set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4's Battle Pass, and it's grouped weapon app from that season. Similar to the Contra, I'm using this for the brown design. Let's move on to combo number two now. For this one, I thought I would use a Gaming Legend Series backbling, which is a Survivor's Pack, part of the Lara Croft set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6's Battle Pass, and the style I'm using is Lara's Backpack, but you can also use the Survivor's Pack if you by that style. I thought I'd go for the Lara's backpack myself. Both of them work nicely for the brown design. Pickaxe is the combat knife, part of the Future War set, introduced in Chapter 2 Season 5, using it for the brown design. And this is Sarah Connor's pickaxe. The second weapon wrap is this one right here. Another brown themed weapon wrap, which is Rogue Archaeology, part of the Indiana Jones set, introduced in Chapter 3 Season 3's Battle Pass. And Indiana Jones was that secret skin chapter 3 season 3 battle pass let's move on to combo number three now and for this one i thought i'd use a star wars series back bling and the one i'm using is Des this is desert essentials part of the Ob obi one kenobi set introduced in chapter 3 season 2 the the desert essentials works very nicely for the brown design pickaxe this combo is the air nomad staff part of the avatar set introduced in chapter 5 season 2 and this is part of the avatar element the yeah, Avatar Elements Event Pass, you could get, obviously, if you purchased it. I'm not sure if this was on the premium, the paid, or the free one. But either way, if you got enough chi, 11,000, and got both, or got premium, you definitely have this pickaxe. Using it for the brown design. The weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is Life's a Beach. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2. Chapter 2, <laughs> Chapter 2, Season 7, and using it for like the brown design, the yellowy and brown design. I already do like this weapon app as well. It's also animated as you can see with like footprints walking across the actual sand itself, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to combo number four now. For this one, I thought I'd use the Bat Bling, the Millennium Falcon, part of the original trilogy set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. This works very nicely since Chewbacca is the co pilot of the actual Millennium Falcon in the obviously in the movies. So this works very nicely. And I do like this back thing a lot. Pickaxe is Obi-Wan's Blade, part of the Obi-Wan Kenobi set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2. Works very nicely for the brown design. I really do like this pickaxe a lot. It also looks cool and also sounds pretty cool as well when you swing it. But you can also use any of the ever brown themed Star Wars pickaxes. Work nicely. Let's move on to the weapon wrap for this combo now, which is this one right here which is the Pancake Posse, part of the Breakfast Bandit set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 5, men using it for the brown design, and this is Man Cake's Weapon Wrap from Chapter 2, Season 5, so Battle Pass. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number 5. This one, I thought I'd use the Breakfast Bounty Back Bling, part of the Breakfast Bounty, be the, the Breakfast Bandit set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 5's Battle Pass, and this is Man Cake's Back Bling. This is what I'd use for the brown design. It's pretty cool Back Bling as well. It goes pretty nicely with the color scheme of the Chewbacca skin. Pickaxe is the Sweet Clementine, part of the Flapjack set. Introduced in Chapter 3, 
see some free. I thought I'd use this because it has like pancakes, obviously on the back for itself, the breakfast bandit, breakfast bounty. It also has pancakes as well, so I thought it'd go nicely for the theme. Also, the pancakes are also brown as well. Pretty cool pickaxe. Goes very nicely with the back bling. Weapon wrap I'm using for this combo is a brown themed weapon wrap, which is just desserts. Part of the splitting image set. Introduced in Chapter Fortnite OG, Season Fortnite OG's Black Pass. And this is Lil Split's weapon wrap. Using it mainly for the brown design. Obviously, it is a dessert like ice cream. So it goes very nicely with like the food related combo I went with for combo number five. Let's move on to combo number six. And now, for this one, I thought I'd use the Clips Toolkit. Part of the full clip set introduced in Chapter 4 Season 2. And this was the from the Chapter 4 Season 2's Saved World Starter Pack you could buy. I'm pretty sure the skin was clips, just like clips start pack for Saved World. Using it for the brown design goes very very nicely with the skin. Pretty cool back thing as well, in my opinion. I can't say I've really ever used it too much just because of the colour scheme. It does go nicely with the Chewbacca skin. Pickaxe is the Gappy Stick. Part of the Book of the Boba Fett set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1. A very nice Star Wars series pickaxe. Goes very nicely with the brown design. The weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is the Gaming Legend series weapon wrap. At this stage, I wasn't sure what weapon wraps to use. I tried my best to make the best with the weapon wraps I have. And the weapon wrap is Shield Weaver, part of the Horizon Zero Dawn set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6. And this is Aloy's weapon wrap. It's an animated and reactive weapon wrap as well. This is how it looks on an actual weapon. But I'd use it because it has a little bit of brown and a little bit of brown on the actual weapon wrap. And it's just a pretty cool design weapon wrap in my opinion as well. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number seven. For this one, I thought I'd use a Gaming Legends series back thing. And the one I'm using is Alan's Messenger Bag. Part of the Waking Nightmare set. Introduced in Chapter 4, Season 4. And this is Alan Wake's back thing. Using it for the brown design. Pickaxe is a simple sledge. Part of the John Wick set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9. This is one of John Wick's pickaxe. Pickaxes, I should say. He has this one. He also has a John Wick's katana. Thought I'd use this for the brown design. But both of them do work nicely as well. Because they both are brown themed which is pretty cool the weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here which is a gaming legend series weapon wrap which is mayhem part of the mayhem set introduced in chapter one season x basically it's a psycho balance weapon wrap or you could call it the borderlands weapon wrap works very nicely with the actual design i do like it for the comic book design as well let's move on to the next combo now which is combo number eight for this one i thought it was just a star wars series back thing i'm using yoda which is part of the original trilogy set. Introduced in Chapter 5 Season 2 and can still be in the, bought in the Outer Shop now. Can be either bought in the Yoda gear pack or can be bought with the Dagobah Luke bundle. Either way, would like nicely. Obviously, says Yoda. Pretty cool. Back thing, can't say I've used it yet, but does go nicely with the skin. Pickaxe is a throwback axe. Part of the Origins set. Introduced in Chapter 2 Season 4. This is basically the default pickaxe from Chapter 1. And in Chapter 2 Season 4, for like a period, I think like maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month, you can claim this pickaxe for free. Obviously, if you claimed it, basically got the default pickaxe from Chapter 1. Pretty cool. Works very nicely for the brown design. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now for this combo, which is this one right here, which is the regiment gear from Chapter 4, Season 2's Bat Pass, part of the squad operations, special operations squad set. And this is Aaron Yeager's weapon wrap from that season. I thought I'd use it for the brown design. To be fair, this is how it looks on the weapon wrap. It has brown, it has white, and it has a little bit of black as well. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number nine. For this one, I thought I would use this back thing right here, which is Boomstick, part of the Nobi Cabin Nightmare set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4, and this is Ash Williams' back thing. Works very nicely with the brown, and the brown of the Boomstick, basically the shotgun. And the black does work pretty nicely as well. Pickaxe is a Wick's Katana, part of the John Wick set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 1. This is John Wick's Pickaxe, his most recent one, I should say. If you don't have the actual Boomstick back, then you can use the Wick's Katana as the back and Pickaxe as well. would work nicely. Let's move on to Weapon Wrap for this combo now, which is this one right here. I thought I'd use this for the black and brown design, which is a cool sign Falcon, part of the Air Royale set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8. As you can see, he has a little bit of black and brown, not the exact, like, color brown but like lighter brown than the actual Chewbacca skin let's move on to the final Chewbacca skin combos now and for this one I thought I would use a cape back bling or cloak I should say which is a cable cloak which is a Marvel series back bling part of the X-Force set introduced in chapter 2 season 2 and his cables back bling or cloak works very nicely for the brown design pickaxe is a walker club part of the survivor in arms set introduced in chapter 2 season 8 and this is Rick Grimes's pickaxe and he's obviously from The Walking Dead. Works very nicely for the brown design. And then the final weapon wrap for the combos is this one right here. 
which is Driftwood, part of the Scallywags set, introduced in Chapter 1 to Season 8. I thought I'd use it, or from the Battle Pass in Chapter 1 to Season 8, I thought I'd use it for the wood design for brown. It's not the exact brown of Chewbacca, but it does go very nicely with the brown theme. A little bit of brown and gold as well. So that's all the Chewbacca skin combos done. I thought I'd get them done, so I decided to pick up the actual Rebel Adventure Lego Pass. Today, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it, but I thought, yeah, I'd pick it up, so I really do like the Chewbacca skin. Obviously, as I did mention at the start, this skin will most likely be coming back in the item shop at a later date. And what we've had with ever skins that have tied to passes, like event passes or like certain things like Fortnite Festival, they can come back in the item shop at a later date. The only skin I've got to do now is this one here, right here, Lando. So I'll probably be getting combos done for him tomorrow. And that'll be all the new Star Wars skins done. If you ever would like to see any video, uh, any specific videos, for example, skin, back bling, pick out, Skrider, slash, umbrella, contract, or ref wrap. And if you've ever thought that of late or combo related, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'm always down to give something new a go. But anyways, that's pretty decent.